Hey guys, it is Quincy from a slightly better wife.com. It is really quiet. It's just after eight o'clock. I just put the kids to bed. We have had a super fun day celebrating. We actually had a half birthday. We don't have a half birthday sign yet. That'd probably be a good investment. Um, we had a half birthday in the house. We were celebrating. We had pizza for National Pizza Day. We played Legos. We had cookies and just had a really fun time celebrating my son um, turning nine and a half. So this morning, um, I had Bible study and I brought bagels, okay? And I was telling everybody about how silly I felt for having a two slice toaster for a family our size, having a family of five. And I said, I don't know why I didn't just buy a four slice toaster. So let me back this up here a little bit so you can see this. It's a, it's a gorgeous toaster. It works great. And my only complaint would be like the buttons, the words wore off like right away, but anyway. Great toaster, okay? When um, our original toaster that I think we had gotten from our wedding or something had worn out, it literally would not go down, it wouldn't heat up, it wouldn't work anymore, it was done. And I researched and researched and researched toasters forever. Like literally for three months, I researched before I bought another toaster. We were like toasting our toast in the oven um, because I was like so dead set on it. I had a perfect toaster. And I can laugh at it now and it seems silly. And not only that, when I placed an order for this toaster, I did it through Amazon, not realizing it had a two month wait on it. Once I realized that I could have canceled it, but I was like, nope, this is the toaster I want. This is perfect. And then it came and the first time we used it, I was like, oh, it has like that burning smell. And I just had like buyer's remorse, like right away, like that new appliance burn, it just stuck to me. Like, why did I get this? This is really small. This is not the right size toaster for us. Yes, it looks nice, it looks great in our kitchen, but I don't even keep the toaster out on the counter. I put it away every night. So it was just one of those silly things where I was overthinking. So anyway, yes, it's a toaster. I think you guys know that you and I both, we all do this. We overthink and overthink and overthink. And then we are like, oh, we, we kind of get caught up, right? Like. We think so hard about something and we think we know exactly what we want and exactly how it should be. And then it turns out that it's not. And I think that happens when we follow our own will too much. I mean, I'm researching over different toaster specs and consumer reports and like, seriously, it's a toaster. Like I spent a fortune on this two slice toaster that I don't love. And I should have just went out to the store and bought a toaster and brought it home and made toast. And I made it much more complicated than I needed to. So that is not the only thing I've done that with. There are so many either materialistic purchases or just situations in life where I have just thought things through way too much. And I know the Bible tells us not to worry about anything, but we do. We worry and we worry. And I have found that when I can just stop myself right where I am and just say, whoa, stop. This is not healthy. I am overthinking. And just reset and just say, you know, Lord, you direct my path. Where do you want me? Where, where should I go? What should I do? Even on situations like buying a small appliance, I think we can really get a lot of clarity. So if you're having any issues like that, where you are just overthinking, or you know you've done it in the past, or you're likely to do it again, just take a step back and just say, Lord, lead me where you need me. And he will, and he definitely will. And I just wanna encourage you guys to just stop overthinking and just start doing. Because sometimes, even when you overthink for months and months and months, you end up with a two slice toaster that is pretty pointless to your family. Overthinking does nobody any good. That's all guys. I hope you guys have a great night and I will talk to you soon. Bye.